Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. This is how you know you're doing something right. I am pretty sure by now Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger know exactly what they're doing because even Al-Qaeda, a terrorist group is mad at them. And once a terrorist group is calling you treacherous, I mean, you must be doing something right. So recently in a 22 minute video published the leader of Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, Iyad Ag Ghaleh, branded the country's new military leaders as treacherous. He then called for their citizens to join his ranks and fight against them. You cannot make this stuff up. This terrorist group leader is calling for the people of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger to turn on their leaders and join him. And... <laughs> It's the audacity for me, honestly. He called them treacherous, the leaders of these countries. Why, you might ask? The only new thing that we know of is the Sahel region countries have been cutting off France, have been saying no to foreign troops, have been defending their land and their people. They've also joined an alliance in September and signed defense treaty to protect one another. It's official. Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger have signed a security pact. They have been talking about this unity and coming together to defend one another. And if you remember, we covered a few months ago when Niger was at risk of being attacked by either ECOWAS or the West, Burkina Faso and Mali made a joint statement saying that they'll defend their brothers and sisters in Niger and they'll stand up for them and help them with whatever they might need. Now they went a step forward and all of them came together to sign an agreement in unity. Military juntas of Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso have signed a security pact promising to help each other in events of any rebellion, insurgency, or external aggression. The Liptako Gorma Charter will create the Alliance of Sahel States. Mali's junta leader Asimi Goita posted on Twitter that their aim is to establish an architecture of collective defense and mutual assistance for the benefits of their population. That is what we know about these countries. Why is he so hateful towards them? Well, obviously he's a terrorist. He's gonna hate everyone. But the fact that he named them and he told us how he really feels about them and how he wants to destroy them basically. And you have to understand for him to be this pissed and to give them the space and the time to talk about them specifically and call on the people of Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger tells you that they are winning. That's how you know they're doing something right because all this time, this terrorist group have been funded allegedly by some powerful nations, which Niger and Mali came out and even said it's France. Mali is determined one way or the other to protect their sovereignty. They just said through their uh, minister that France is really trying them and by fire or by force, they are gonna protect their country. Speaking at a United Nations Security Council briefing on Mali, Minister Abdullahi Diop repeated allegations that France had violated its airspace and delivered arms 
to Islamist militants that have been waging an offensive in northern Mali for the past decade. There needs to be a specific meeting of the Security Council which will make it possible for us to bring to light evidence regarding duplicitous acts, acts of espionage and acts of destabilization waged by France. So with all this accusation and the relationship that these groups have with these nations, it's definitely understandable why they're pissed because even in Mali there's the government has been able to win over certain areas and certain villages that was occupied by this group that has been making the lives of the people miserable so when he comes out and tells you that they're treacherous we have all the answers that we need and he's not really happy with these leaders hence why we support these leaders, we want them to succeed and we want the people, most importantly, we want the people of these countries to find peace, to see peace for once because they have been going through it. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about what Al-Qaeda said about these three countries and their leaders. I am Ongel Zalalem, I'll see you on the next one.